to prevent, you know, whatever happened, whether it be relationship wise or why we ended up in the position we're in or whatever. And it's hard, especially when you're still angry or you're jaded to just say, okay, I should have did that or I messed up here or whatever. Like it's difficult to accept that and admit that because you still want to be angry or blame somebody else. So it's hard to like self-reflect. So let me ask you a question. How old did you say you are? 29? 31. Uh oh. Uh, do you have women around you who can be honest with you and just tell you the truth? Okay. Uh, what do you want out of life regarding relationships? Would you like to be married one day? I can't. Is that yes? Hello? You muted yourself? I don't know if did you mute yourself because I can't hear you. Uh yeah, you muted yourself. Unmute yourself. Can you hear me? Oh, I didn't mean to hit anything. But okay. yes, I would like to be married. <laughs> okay. Uh would you like children? I have one ten year old. Okay. And how how's the relationship with your dad his dad? With my child's father? Uh huh. Um, we're uh mutual, okay. but he's in another relationship. All right. So, do you, do you want any additional children? No. Uh, do you care if the man you uh, seeing has children? No, and I'm willing to date. Like my preference is like older men for one of that's okay. like the main reason. Okay. So I'm willing to date older. So because I don't want any more children. Okay, so being, I've got to be honest and say, this is why I think women need to have women around them that can tell the truth. Mm-hmm. Because y'all don't tend to listen to us first. If you want to be married and you have a 10 year old, that means you got a kid that's going to be with you at least another eight years. Mm-hmm. It is a very difficult proposition to, for a man to go into a marriage knowing he's not going to have any additional children. That, that removes almost 80% of the reason that men want to get married. Even so, if it's an older man? Um, well, he, no, not necessarily if he's an older man, but this is where the competition thing comes in play. You still got a child that you're going to be with eight years. He could easily go find a woman who's younger with no kids. Mm-hmm. It's not going to, because it's, it's cheaper. See? Okay. As a single mother, you are going to have to outperform your childless self. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Meaning, go ahead. ahead. My question is, what is the solution to that? Because I still, um, I've only been watching some of your content maybe like in the past week or two. Okay. So, but I haven't heard like a lot of solutions. Like I'm open to like feedback because I don't want any more kids. So why what, don't you? Well, well, okay. First off, we got to understand why don't you want any more children? Because my child is 10 and I like I'm single, like I'm not dating anybody. So I would have to meet someone, you know, get to know them, get into a relationship, get married. So by the time I do that, how old do you think? You know, how old do you think my child will be like 13, 14? So then I just don't want to start the entire process over. I don't want to have like a teenager and a newborn. Okay. If that makes it just as okay. like a mother and knowing like. Okay. All right. Needs. So, so the solution is to wait till your child uh, graduates. I've thought about that. But because then you talk about like. Be, the but clock. listen, listen. But, okay. See, here's the reality as a single mother. There are all, all the choices are not easy because the first thing I thought of was you're selfish. You want, this is about you. I don't want to have to have an age gap. I don't want to have to do this. Marriage is not something you do for yourself. It is something you do for everything else other than you. Duty, respect, honor. That's why that's what makes a 30, 40, 50 year relationship. If the man wants kids and you don't want kids, that's selfish for you. I understand the reason. So that would mean he you may be perfectly lovely, but he's got to go on to somebody and give him a child. 
Now, I'm going to ask a hard question. Is it that you don't want to have children or you just don't want to have what you've already had, which was that, which likely wasn't a positive uh, motherly experience? Okay, you mute yourself again. If you don't get your fingernails off the buttons, stop muting yourself. Every time I swipe, it just okay. Well, I don't know why you keep. I don't know why you keep swipe. I don't know why you keep swiping. Is your does your phone keep ringing or something? No. Okay. So, um, I don't think it, it's just me being selfish. I think like I know. Well, what I asked more. initially, what I asked you initially is that did you have a positive motherly experience? No. Okay. So, ma'am, listen to what I'm about to say. Mm -hmm. You were how old when you had your child? 21. You were 21 in a healthy, happy, loving, committed rela marriage where you met a man, he met your family, you met his family. He, he did the traditional things, proposed to you, got your father's blessing. Your family paid for the wedding. Your friends came. You got the ceremony and everything. And then you guys lived together and uh, as newlyweds and enjoyed each other for a little bit of time. And then you got pregnant. And regardless of what, especially if you had a man who's a provider and you had good health insurance and was able to have your baby in a safe environment to where you took the FMLA 13 weeks off or you took out the first two years, three years, or whatever, and you had somebody there day in, day out, week in, week out, your experience would have been massively different. Right? Sure. Mm -hmm. Do you think you would still have the same opinion if your husband were to unfortunately be passed if you were a widow and you were to re look at marrying again? Would you still say, oh, I don't think I want any more children? I'm really not sure. Probably not. But when okay. I say, like, it, I don't think it's selfish. It's because I'm thinking about, like, the type of woman I want to be and the type of wife I want to be, like, what to is my that? man. And I, what is that? Being, um, like, I want to be able to be more lighthearted and just... um like my more, you know, womanly or bubbly self. And I think that when I'm a mom or when you have a newborn, it's just a lot of work and it's a lot of mental strain. Of course, it's a, of course it's a lot of work when you're a single mother. It's a lot of work when you're yeah. a single mother. Okay, and this is why having a child out of wedlock is so traumatic. I agree. I listen. So, I so, so, I mean, what, what, I'm what I'm trying to get you to understand is... Okay, let's let's start here. Uh, if you're married, do you want to have to work to pay significant bills in the household? No. Okay. What percentage of the family financial load do you want to have to be responsible for for a lifetime? Ooh, what percentage? percentage? Yeah. Like right now, you have to be responsible for 100% of your fi family's financial load for a lifetime. Right. When, mar when married, what percentage would you want to have to be responsible for? Ideally, zero. <laughs> okay. So you want a man to come in. And what state do you live in? Arizona. Arizona. How much is a man going to have to make to facilitate you, a child, and him, and a wife that doesn't work? Six figures. Uh huh. In Arizona. Well, okay, six figures can be anywhere from a hundred thousand dollars to nine hundred ninety-nine thousand. Uh, maybe two hundred and fifty k. This is just a guess. Yeah, that's about it. And did you go to college? No. Okay. What percentage of men in this country earn two hundred thousand dollars or more? Oh, I've heard you say this before. It's a very small like less than 10 percent it's a very small percentage no that's less than a hundred that's over a hundred you talk about men in the top three percent of men and i'm going to be very honest with you ma'am mm -hmm. men in the top three percent are not looking to pay for anybody else's children mm -hmm. they can go make their own families men like that want legacy 
because they've had to make themselves a high value man. They don't want to provide for another man's legacy. Every dollar they put in your child is paying for another man. It is biologically ridiculous for us to do that. Let's take it away from human beings, okay? Mm -hmm. If lions, if a new set of male lions takes over a pride of female lions, what do the what do the what happens to the lion cubs from the other men? I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. Lions are uh, ruthless. What do you th- so I don't know. No, no. What do you think though? You got five lionesses. You got mm-hmm. seven cubs, and you had two lions there. Then you get two more lions come and depose those other two lions. So those other two lions get run off or killed or something. And the five lionesses are there and the seven cubs. What happened to the seven cubs? They, something, something to where they're no longer around. What, um, I need, you're an adult. What does that mean? Something they, they kill know. them? What do you think happens? Do they kill the cubs? I'm asking, do you think they, do you think they raised them? Probably not. What do the mothers do with them? I don't know. Okay. This is the unfortunate part that we've allowed women to not even understand nature. In nature, the men, the the cubs will be killed because every time a lion, the new lion comes in, he has to bring food. He's not going to feed another lion's kids. This is how it is in nature. So, and the mothers sit back and like, well, and you know what happens when the lion cubs are disposed of, they go in the heat. What I'm trying to get you to understand, ma'am, is you want to be a a taken care of woman. Right? Mm -hmm. What does your baby, what do your baby daddy do? He lives, well, I'm from Michigan, so he's still in Michigan. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, he works, what do you do for a living? He works for the, like, the big three. It's in the automotive industry. Okay. Is he uh, high ranking or is he on the factory? No, he's in the factory. All right. Is he on child support? No. It's no, we're not. We don't have anything court ordered. So, ma'am. This is going to sound harsh, but this sounds crazy. You want a man to come get you later in life used with somebody else's kid and and put you up like 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 a, a traditional wife and the man you made a baby for ain't even doing nothing. That would make no sense for a man. Mm-hmm. And he can't even get a child out of you? But what if it's like an older guy and he has his own children? See, I would. Like, I'm older. I'm older, and I don't deal with single mothers. Mm-hmm. I got my own children. I would not take care of your child. Uh, there are plenty of young women out there with no kids. First off, the fact that you had, if you want the honest truth, the fact you had a child is a, is a, is a severe mark against you, because that means you don't make good decisions. Then I'm gonna go vet the man who you had a child by, and if he ain't at least on my level. We got nothing to talk about. I'm not going to raise a lesser man's child. Bottom damn line. I am not going to bring you around my colleagues, friends, country club, this and that, and be dragging some some bastard around from somebody else. Because that's what the kid is called. And because if I did, they would ask, hey, you got married, you got a wife. Okay. Hey, girl, who's your who's your ex-husband? Oh, I wasn't married. Oh, Okay. Well, where's your child? Oh, he's a, okay. So this is a doctor. This is a lawyer. This is an Indian chief. This is a pharmacist. This is a, a business owner. This is a this, a this. And this. what is your child's father? Oh, he's a, oh, okay. And you just sitting up in the suburbs, not paying any bills. You've been looking at too many uh, Instagram. But I know, know some women who are, mar- well, not married, yes. but they're in relationships with Yes, them. that's right, ma'am. And understand, they understand, they'll deal with you. They'll have sex with you. They won't marry you. That's one of the things I talk about on this show. High value men. Look at legacy. And it doesn't make them bad. It doesn't make you bad. But what I'm saying is 
you're talking about marriage and you're not even going to. Okay. Let's see if we can put it this way. Do you know how to cook well? Yes. Do you have a recipe book? No. I I'm, use like online and then I learn recipes from my grandmother. She okay. Used to make can you bake? Yes. All right. How tall are you? Five, four. Dress size? My what? Dress size? Small. No, no. Dress size. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Oh, four. Okay. All right. Um, how many tattoos do you have? A lot. <laughs> you have any piercings? Yes, but not visible. Okay. Just like my ears. All right. Uh, is, is this your natural hair? Is it a wig? Or... No, I moved to Arizona, so mm -hmm. I have not found a stylist yet. But in Detroit, I wore my natural hair all the but, time. I got my hair done every week. But is it what I'm, how long is your natural hair? Like to my shoulder. Okay. So, ma'am, this is where women start to get upset. I don't, I don't know. You're a high school graduate, right? Mm. You have lots of tattoos, piercings, someone else's child, 31, he's a 10-year-old. And now it sounds like you want to be Sally Homemaker and have a man pay all the bills. Why is that? A, okay, if your son became an attorney, right? Or something like that. I don't have a son. Huh? Say what? I don't have a son. It's, it's Daughter? a girl. Okay. Ahead, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, okay. Well, let me just switch anyway. If you had a son, if you had a mm -hmm. son and he had to go become an attorney and making a quarter of a million dollars a year, would you want him bringing home a, a woman who had a child by another man? Would you want him bringing you home? Well, I'm bi I wouldn't have a problem with that, honestly. But again, I'm biased because I am a single mother, and I think it's. But more you would so want, violent. but you would want your, but you would want your son out of all the women he could pick from to pick a woman who has a child and doesn't want to have a child. That's what you want for your child. I wouldn't see somebody with a child as a negative, though. But that's the but problem. I it is, man. But that's the problem. That's the problem. It is. It is a big negative. And the fact that you ladies don't see, you, you look at your children and you love your children and you don't right. see it lowering your value. I see this across YouTube all the time and it's delusion, ma'am. But I wouldn't mind a man who has children. Though. But the difference is we can, we got to take care of them. A man's not getting a kid from you. See what you're not doing is you, what are you bringing to the table except expectations? A man can't even get a child from you. So it's not like that's the deal. And he's and then he's taking care of another child. That's a double negative. So in terms of could you, let me ask you this: could 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 your could your uh in, pop, could your husband discipline your daughter? Yeah, my husband. Yeah. yeah. Could he could yes. he get could he whoop her? My husband, yes. Okay. Then. Uh, and your daughter comes home and she's mad at your husband and she say he did X, Y, Z. See, you ladies don't realize what you're asking for a man. You're asking for a man who has resources to put and means to put all that at risk. And you may be a perfectly lovely woman, man, but it comes down to what are you bringing to the table that's better than other women? with no children or women who may have a child and they want to give that man a kid. Your son, your case is laden with, I just, I don't see it moving. I don't, especially not wanting to work. I don't know where they, I don't know where they make y'all at like this. I don't, where'd y'all grow up thinking this was make sense. I wouldn't mind. Well, uh, like I definitely plan to work. Like I don't have no problem. I would never rely on someone. You said you didn't want to have to work to pay significant bills. You said you didn't yeah, want to. I, didn't want I to, asked what, I percentage, like what percentage of the family financial load do you want to have to be responsible for? None. 
You said you want somebody making a 200. I, mean, I know what you said, ma'am. And the reality right. is you don't want to have the financial pressure. If you work or not work, you don't want it to impact the, the family in any way. Right. That's the reality. Ma'am, w were you raised with this? Were you raised with a, in a family like this? Yes. Both my, well, my mom and dad are married, still okay. married. Okay. Um, but both my parents work. Um, okay. My dad. But, but both your parents work, but your, both, but your mom worked. Mm-hmm. But why don't you think you should have to? Why don't you want to have to work? Her money was put towards like savings and like little stuff that she. I don't. To do. But she worked. Yeah. How many but siblings she, do you, you have? About How many siblings do you have? How many siblings do you have? Two other sisters. Thank you. Your your father got three kids out of your wife, out of your mom. Yes. Ma'am, you're not this person. You're not this person. And unfortunately, this is a good conversation because it shows the damage that this Disneyification. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel again. This is Bill Lake News. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and click the like to share button. The baby at, in her at 20 for a factory worker. If you were an average looking woman, you would not be asking for all this. It is unreasonable. That is why you cannot find a husband. You can find people to date. You'll find people who have sex with you. They'll hook up. But as far as putting a ring on it, absolutely not. Not, not the kind of men you're making the kind of money you're talking about. Okay. So in terms of solutions. Lower yeah. your standards to match who you are. Okay. So what do you think that is? So if I don't want to okay. have either. All right. Uh, here's how we, here's how, here's or... how we do this. How, here's how we do this. What okay. would you rank your looks on a scale from one to 10? Fresh face out of the shower, your natural hair, and you can't use seven. Eight. You put, okay. I put Beyonce around an eight, Kelly Rowland around a nine, Rihanna 10. You put yourself around Beyonce level. Okay. Beyonce's eight, then six. Okay. I give you a six. I give you a six. You're cute. Cute mm -hmm. is one step above average. And according to you, you're a dress size four and you weigh about what? Oh, approximately. What did you weigh the last time you weighed yourself? 165, 170. 165, 170? No, that ain't a dress size four. You're every bit of a dress size eight. Oh, I can go in my closet. All my dresses say small, okay. though. Okay, so I mean, if you're five four, 180 pounds, you weigh more than a man at your height. I'm the image consultant. I'm, I know women's sizes. I used to do fashion merchant. Unless you are an H cup, you're not 30 pounds of breast. And I, the women I date deal with five four, 125 pounds, and I know what it looks like all the time. You 50 pounds more than that. Too big. So, so I just had like a significant weight loss. So I'm getting like okay. skin removal and I'm going through this whole process. See that, that's the, 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 the fact that you got to do all that when your mm -hmm. competition is already that with no kids should let you know. You got to go through transformation to get to what we already want. And they got no baby. And you got a whole grown person. Mm -hmm. Man, you're a six- and you're below average in your body. So that puts you right about average. You will be good to get a man making $50,000 a year. And you will work for the rest of your life. And that's a good deal. 72% of mothers in this country work full or part time. Your mother worked. And your father got three kids out of it. The problem is you ladies ask for far too much and you massively overestimate your sexual marketplace value. If you were a vehicle, you'd be a Honda. Reliable, so good, reliable, saying, not insulting. It's good, reliable, but you, you, you use Honda. Go ahead. What am I asking? What are you asking? So you're saying if I, at best, I would get a man who makes 50K and I would still have to work for the rest of my life and I'm already working for the rest of my life and don't mm -hmm. want to have any more kids, then 
do you think it's even beneficial to be in that situation? And then who's going to, okay, see, so and let me say this audience, see, this is what, is, and I'm going to say this to the audience, not necessarily you. See, audience, this is what's been marketed to women. If a man can't pay all your bills, then what's the use of having a man? Let me ask you this then, ma'am, before I answer that question. From 25 to 65, if you just make 50000 if you make $50,000 a year, which is $20,000 more than the average woman, black woman, if you made that $50,000 and you got a cost of living raise every year of 3%, and if you stack $200 savings a month for 40 years, upon retirement at age 65, and you have a life expectancy to 85, you will need $2.9 million to live that last 20 years. At $50,000, you will have a $750,000 shortfall, meaning you won't have enough money to last the rest of your life. What the average black man earns. Why? Because she has done so much work on herself, spiritually and mentally. And, and not going to do that. It doesn't matter that you just went to high school because going to college just means that you're, you're around the other wives and they got something to talk about. Like it or not, social class comes into it and they do look down on women who are just high school graduates. Like it or not, they do. Unless you come from a, unless you come from a, a, a long line of wives, the, 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 the wives will be like, oh, oh okay. Oh, they're going to look down on you. I'm not going to lie. And then they're going to ask, who the child's father is. All this matters is social class. And we got to have this conversation. I'm going to do a broadcast next week on octane levels because we don't talk about social class enough in the black community. But I will tell you that I've had more conversations with women who will tell you that they 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 either didn't match up to their, their, their boyfriend social class or the men didn't match up to the woman's. It matters in the black community. It matters everywhere. And I'm not understanding why a woman who had a child and who weighed as much as you did and who who's, who the child's father is, why you set your sights so exorbitantly high. You set your, does your father make a quarter of a million dollars a year? Yes, he, um, he has a full-time career and he owns multiple businesses. Okay. And did he make a did he make that amount of money at your age? Probably not. No. And reason people catching in, this is a woman who doesn't want to have any additional children. Yeah, that's why uh, initially I was saying I was open to dating older or you know. Somebody. Older doesn't mean fool, ma'am. Okay, I'm I'm just trying to be as nice as I can, but still, I'm an older man. The women I deal with. The, take me out of it. The men that I know, age gap date, women who are 10 years younger than them minimum, they don't date baby mamas. Baby mamas are not in the equation. And the guys that do have children right. still prefer not to date baby mamas because they don't want to pay another bill. That child is a bill. And you don't really want to have to work. So that means you're going to be giving that bill to your man. What are you bringing to the table that's better than Brenda or Tammy or Anu or Maylene? Or miscellaneous black woman? What are you bringing to the table that's better than all these women to where a man has to pay for another man's child and can't have one from you? You got to answer that in the marketplace. Your standards are your standards, fine, but you are shooting far past your S and V. Your S and V is average, and that's giving you that's giving you an adjustment for a, a, a more pleasant face, but your body is below, so that negates that averages out to average. But here's the problem. If if even if we gave you an average of five, right? If you watch my broadcast, a kid knocks you down by two points. 
That puts you what? At three. Four on a good day, but that's below average. And I'll round this out. Have you ever been engaged? No. Okay. It's the longest relationship you've ever had with anybody. You said what is the longest relationship? Uh -huh. Longest. Seven years. Was that your child's father? It is. All right. And what and what age is that, that was that over? Twenty seven. And why didn't you guys marry? Um he wasn't faithful. He was like dishonest. How much was he making a year annually? About? I couldn't say thirty, Seven. forty thousand. He was making fifteen to twenty dollars an hour? Yeah, about. And now all of a sudden you think he should just jump up to a hundred. Okay, this is now. this is one thing. Like when I was bigger and I was making more and I was paying bills and everything like that, I like was accepting less and settling because I was like, You were well, accepting I'm what you were you were accepting what you were. It's not less, it's what you are. But what I weigh is not what I am. Yes, so it is. I'm, yes, it is. Yes, it is. That's what you ladies keep saying. Yes, it is, ma'am. You can't, you cannot. Men on that level aren't checking for you, not for wife. You ain't been engaged to one. Are you even dating one, seriously? Well, I just moved here, so I've been on a few dates, but I haven't seriously been out. Okay, and where'd you and how long you been here? Um, since the beginning of this year. Since January. Mm -hmm. Seven months in Arizona. Mm -hmm. Phoenix, Tucson, Scottsdale. Phoenix area. Like North if, Phoenix. If you were that chick, you'd have you'd have had him by now. They are there. You're in denial. You've left your home. These men exist in Phoenix, Tucson, Scottsdale, Scottsdale in particular. Man, at this pace, if you don't adjust your standard to match who you really are and stop talking about settling and you need to right size this. And I need you to hear something, and it's going to sound harsh, but it's going to be some good advice. The man you're talking about will be settling for you. Because he's he's taking on you and another man's child with the knowledge he won't get one. That man is settling for you. So the way you got this is you got a man who's up here at a nine level. And you down here at a three or four level talking about what you deserve when you really should have a man at about a five a five level, maybe six, and be happy to get him. This won't work. I don't think, I mean, if, if you're being honest with who you are, man, I don't think the kind of man that actually fits you you would treat them any. I don't think you would really appreciate them because you sound like you talk, think they're settling. But I've said this and I'm going to get to the next person. Thank you for being respectful. But, ma'am, I often tell women, your baby daddy is your limit. That's as high as you get. That's who you made a baby for. That's who you gave the highest honor a woman can give a man. And that's who you were for seven years. You cannot make up for mistakes of your youth. And you're, when you're older, more used, and somebody's kids, that would be a horrible deal. And the only man that would do that would be a man who has no counsel for anybody because if he had friends, they would say, do not do this. If he has brothers, they would say, if I had a friend that was in this, I would, hell no. No. And it's not because you may not be a nice person. It's just a bad deal. But uh, thank you for being pol uh, polite. Have a nice night.
first of all today we are going to talk about we are going to talk about the most important thing the most trending thing if you are to listen to this video of kevin samuels i don't know why there is a lot of um, single motherhood these days there are a lot of single mothers and most especially young youths so in this case if you are to summarize and look at this this lady says she is 31 and she has a kid but she's searching for man actually she reached a point whereby she said even when the man is old it's okay so she is searching for man who can take care of her but according to her statement she is not willing to give in or she is not willing to have another baby or she is actually she is looking for man who can take care of her with her baby but she's not willing to produce for that person she's not willing to do anything actually according to the statement she made she is not even willing to improve the relationship in any way she just needs someone who can be there as a father figure and to take care of the of this but in conclusion if you're to look at this who would really go for someone um like who would really go for someone you want that person to be you want a person to be there for you but in actual sense you cannot be there for them because i don't think men would love to first of all this man is taking you as a single mom and at some bit at the same time you're not willing to have another baby for him so that means you just you just want to use him or in simple quotes you just want an ATM machine to rule over you guys let's keep remembering our papa kevin Samuels for the good work he did he has done because this information i think it's still help, helping the youth because you we youths we miss a lot we miss a lot in in many cases but i think this is so important if you to listen to this even when you're about to become a single mother i think you can settle in and be like yeah you know according to her statements after like chopping her weight it's like she said yeah man this this guy is not my type this man is not my type i'm moving out at times as ladies we don't look up to the future or we don't look up to what may come our own ways in what you're, you're choosing to do so guys you can add a comment down there and you can Keep checking these videos to keep remembering our Papa Kevin Summits because he made a lot. I appre I personally I appreciate him and keep checking his sites for his support and so on because this is so helpful because even me personally they have helped me a lot. Yeah guys, thank you so much. And you can share anything or commentary about it, but I don't let's fight this single motherhood because it's a lot. Most especially even in our country, it's a lot. A lot of ladies are becoming singles. Moreover, at a young stage, at a tender stage. I don't know what would be the cause, but I think it's too much and we need to fight for our for everything and